Aaron Katursky, our senior investigative correspondent, getting uh, de details uh, in by the minute here. Aaron, what do you have? This whole thing was captured on surveillance images. There are cameras all over Rainbow Bridge across the Niagara River, and we're told from sources who have been briefed on the investigation so far that the images show the vehicle that exploded initially being stopped at a checkpoint before it ever made it onto the span of the bridge. What prompted that stop, we're not sure. The vehicle was directed to a secondary security checkpoint, and that's when... And according to the surveillance images, it starts to speed up, reaching quite a high rate of speed before it ends up crashing into that secondary screening location and bursting uh, in, into that explosion. Whether it was the crash that caused the explosion or whether there was something in the vehicle that caused the explosion, the authorities still have not said. But they have found what's been described to us as a briefcase or a suitcase that has aroused suspicion. They're now treating that briefcase or suitcase, whatever it was, as a possible explosive device out of an abundance of caution. But still not clear, Kira, exactly what caused the explosion. Uh, we do know there are fatalities associated with it, whether it's people in the car, whether it's people at the security checkpoint, that has not been made clear. So the surveillance video, Aaron, just to recap here, actually shows the vehicle was stopped at a security checkpoint before it got, uh, I guess, in, explain to the, the checkpoint and the bridge and the crossover there um, where people walk, where people drive. Is it, do, can they do it at the same time? Well, you know, before you can make it onto the span of the bridge and actually cross into the United States, there is a, a, a checkpoint, something in the vehicle must have aroused some suspicion. And rather than being waved onto the span of the bridge, the vehicle was directed to a secondary screening location. As the vehicle was traveling to that secondary screening location, uh, it speeds up, sources said, uh, what the surveillance images show. And at that point crashes at a fairly high rate of speed into something at that secondary screening location. And, and then explodes. Uh, they're now looking for the license plate, but the license plate would have undoubtedly already been read at the initial checkpoint. So the authorities probably have a good idea about who the vehicle belonged to or whether it was associated with any crime uh, in the past. And they can have a potentially a pretty good understanding of, uh, of, of what this all might, might be. Uh, they just haven't told us yet, Kira. All right. Great details, Aaron. Appreciate it so much.